Hello everyone, my name is Martin Torres and this is your CSEA negotiation news update number eight. Today's topics, CSEA's proposals for article number eight, number nine, and MOU. Whittier Union's counter proposals on article number 15 and a lengthy discussion on article number three. We will also be discussing a survey that will be sent out to all members. Whittier Union did a counter proposal for Article Number 15. This has to do with our brothers, sisters, and siblings in transportation. And I got to tell you guys, it's a big win. We have a tentative agreement with Whittier Union, so we can say that a lot of things have been introduced to the contract to help them in transportation, and Whittier Union and CSEA are in tentatively agreed. That's a big win. And now for Article Number 3. Previously, Whittier Union had rejected our proposal for a fair and respectable treatment for classified members. This would ensure that our classified members are being treated fairly, respectably, they're not being bullied or harassed, while now CSEA and Whittier Union are in discussion and we look forward to seeing a counter proposal from Whittier Union to hopefully ensure that you are being treated fairly at work and that you're being respected. And now I'm sure this is the point of the video that everybody's been waiting for but I'm gonna need you guys to get a little bit close. A little bit closer. A little, wait, wait a minute, that's a little too much. Back up a little bit. I need you guys all to be paying attention carefully to where we're at regarding salary and healthcare. Okay, both of these are tied together. Whittier Union is proposing a tiered healthcare system. So what that means is that based on the hours that you work and the plan that you have, all of that will change the rate in which you're paying and there are increases. So that means that's money the district's gonna take out of your salary. That's what Whittier Union wants to do. So we're gonna put a link down below for you to see what that chart looks like. So you can find where you're at on there based on the hours, the specifics of your plan and which plan you have. That way you can see how much money it's gonna cost you now. But what we also proposed is that we will accept that if our members are willing, but on regarding salary, we're asking for a 6% on schedule. So that means that is part of your salary ongoing, not a one-time off schedule payment. We're not interested in that. But then we're also asking for 3% equity adjustment that is also on schedule. So we're looking at two different things because we need to offset it. If you're going to be taking more money from our members for health care, then you need to offset that with an equity adjustment. The 3% is called, we're calling it an equity adjustment. That will also be part of your regular, regular salary. This way, it'll help you offset that increased health care. Now that will lead us into a survey. We want to see what all of you feel and think about this tiered healthcare system. So we will be texting you the survey. So be on the lookout for it. Fill it out, let us know. We wanna know what you guys have to think or feel about paying this increase. But we're out here fighting for you because everything is costing more. We wanna make sure that you have a living wage so you can provide for your family so that you could live. Remember, the governor gave 8.22. We're fighting for you. Lastly, we introduced an MOU which is a Memorandum of Understanding. It is an agreement between CSEA and Whittier Union. This agreement has to do with custodial shortages because our custodians in our contract are responsible for a certain amount of square footage. We don't want our, our custodians to be overworked. So when there's a shortage, if someone's out or sick or uh, there's a position open and there's no subs available, we want to make sure that our members are not being overworked and that our contract is being broken. Whittier Union had recently started a practice of when there's a shortage of the regular custodial staff and no subs are available, that overtime is offered. So that way the work is being done. They're not passing on the work. They're not getting more with less. And this has been in effect for a few months, but we want to make sure that it's put in writing and that we have an agreement between Whittier Union and CSEA. So we're looking forward to Whittier Union agreeing to this MOU and making sure that we're not overworking our custodians and that we're ensuring that our schools are clean and hygienic and it's a good place for students to attend.
All right, everyone, I want to be able to give you a real world example. Let me introduce Marianne. Marianne, why don't you tell them who you are, where you work at, how long you've been here? Okay, Marianne, I have been working at Pioneer High School of 16 years. I'm a senior administrative clerk, and yeah, I love working here. So, currently, right now, what the district has proposed is 6% on schedule. So, remember, that on schedule is part of your permanent salary. Then, they've also proposed a 3% off schedule, which is just a one time payment, right. right? It's a one time bonus check. But then, they also want to increase healthcare. How does all that affect you? Well, my living expenses have gone up about 20% and that can include rent, mortgage, your market bill, gas bill, so many other things, your car insurance, just there's so much. So having a 6% increase and adding medical expenses on top of that, that could, that will go up if the district does what they plan and for a family plan that'd be a hundred dollars that's just not going to cut it for my situation so with your situation at six percent increased your salary and the increased uh, medical where does that how much money does that approximately leave you with i'm going to be left with nothing i'm going to be short these are the real facts we have to look at the facts where this is going to be impacting you that's why we were included the chart down below for you to find what plan you're on, what circumstance you're on, and how much more you're gonna be paying for healthcare. And think about all the things that have gone up in cost and what that 6% is gonna really do for you each month. This is about you, your family, your cost of living. Hey, CSA members, join us for our 2024 Spring Banquet Breakfast, held April 1st at 9 a.m. at Town Center Hall. Purchase tickets from your CSEA site rep or contact Lisa Delgado. Hi guys, please like and follow our social media pages. Your likes and follows show your negotiations team your support.